Hey guys. All right. So today I am going to do a tutorial that I saw here on YouTube uh, from a really great artist. I think the channel was called Monster something. I forgot what it was. Um, but I'll link the page in the description. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn these cheap styrofoam pumpkins into looking like old, rotten jack-o'-lanterns. Um, it's really very simple. No one, as I said before, really sees my yard or my porch because of where we live. So decorating is kind of useless, um, but I still thought these would be fun to do if anybody else wants to try. Um, you have to get these from either uh, like Michael's or Walmart. I got this one at Menards. It has to have this kind of shiny shellac surface. This one isn't as shiny, but it still works um, because I did a test test pumpkin on one of their little 98 cent ones. They do have them this size for $5.98 at Walmart. I think everywhere else sells them for $7. Or eight dollars. Um, this was one of their two ninety eight in their bin of two ninety eight pumpkins, and then this is another of their ninety eight cent ones. So, anyway, enough about that. Let's get started. All right, you will need a small sharp knife, um, preferably an exacto knife, but I don't have one, um, and a little heat gun. This one is for embossing. Um, it's not like a industrial heat gun. Um, I think it goes up to 650, maybe 600 degrees, which seems to be just enough. And I actually like it better because I was able to put it closer to the surface and have it blister kind of at my control um, without it going crazy. And before I burned it really, really gray, which is probably where we're going to end up going, but this is from just holding it close over it two or three seconds. Anyway, let's go ahead and do the big one. Might as well, right? All right, so the first thing that you want to do, obviously, just like any other jack-o'-lantern, is carve out the shapes that you want for the eyes and mouth. Now you're just going to kind of cut uh, through the plastic layer. You don't really have to dig into the styrofoam. And then after that, you see you can just peel, peel that plastic layer off. And then in a minute, I'll show you what to do with the styrofoam. Yeah, I kind of reshaped the eyes a little bit. They weren't quite the same and they were a little bit slanty. I tried to make just kind of big circle eyes. <laughs> okay, and now here you want to kind of dig out about a half an inch of star foam or so.
And you're going to do the same for the mouth. Once that's done, you take the heat gun and you slowly melt around the edges of the eyes. And you'll see how it kind of shrinks up and pulls back like a jack-o'-lantern does that you've left out too long. And then you can see I slowly started blistering the surface. Just makes it look, you know, old. Just take your time. You don't want to hold it too close for too long. Just enough to give it kind of that creep factor. And you'll melt away some of that styrofoam on the inside too. It was easy to do with the eyes. It melted at about the same time just because of their size. But you see with the mouth here, I'm, I did the edges first. Now you just keep blistering the skin all over until you're happy with it. You can hold it there an extra couple seconds and get kind of a dark brown spot. I did that in a couple of places just to give it some extra rotted look. And then once you've gotten it where you like, you finish it off at the top. It that also doesn't look smooth and polished either. Just do some touch-ups, make it look how you want it to look. Alright, so it still needs a little bit of touching up. There's some parts that are still really shiny. Can do that in a bit but you see how it melted the eyes and made it look all nice and caved in and then of course it melts the styrofoam in here so that's the first step to making it look I didn't put some plastic down for overspray hope it's enough and I just got some cheap Spray paint from Dollar General. It's like 98 cents, I think. And what you'll see is that the um, accelerant that they put in here, or I'm not sure exactly what it is, that makes the paint be able to come out of the can um, also eats away at the styrofoam. This is the test one that I did a couple weeks ago. And if you just spray that, there you can hear it it sounds like rice krispies That's crazy. So anyway, I think it looks pretty cool, just like that. But we want to make the rind part all black. some spray paint on it in pieces. And then just kind of rub it in there. I don't remember if the original tutorial 
did dabbing or rubbing. The dabbing seems to be taking it off more though. dries fast, so don't let it sit there for too, too long. Unless you want black pumpkins, which is fun. Two. yeah so there's that and pretty much he's done um, on the uh, uh, monster tutorial channel which I believe I remember it's what it's called he used some paint some green like this to make some moss um, and a little bit of white I got two shades of green um, just to build up a little bit so we will try that and see how it looks. He used a brush. I think I'm just going to use the paper towel that I already have some black on. It's not meant to be perfect anyway. grayish green is going to dry really nicely. All right. My battery is about to die. I won't be able to get this done in time. I don't want to do too much in case I don't like it. I kind of like it the way it is. You want a really, really dry brush. Then on top of that. I hope this works out better than the white. Maybe I should do white, but I don't know. Just a little bit of the highlight. There you go. We'll let that dry. See what he ends up looking like after that. One thing I'm not happy about with the styrofoam, the accelerant ate it away and it stayed white instead of nice and dark. Maybe that's where I should have got the better spray paint. Oh well, you live and you learn. I'm going to charge my phone. I'm going to transform this guy and this guy.
and I'll be back with the results. All right, well, here is the finished product. I'm relatively happy with the way these came out. Um, on the original tutorial, um, he also used a dollar store pumpkin, which are hollow inside instead of full of styrofoam. Um, and with doing that, you can put a little battery operated candle up inside there. Um, I debated on cutting out a hole and seeing if I could melt the styrofoam through enough. Um, might be a possibility. If I do do that, I will show you a picture of that at the end. But for now, here are these guys. I hope that you give this a try. And if you do, uh, let me know. Uh, send me links of your photos. I'd love to check them out. Anyway, um, thanks for sticking around with me. Um, I probably should have worn some gloves. Well, my hands are all black, but whatever. <laughs> um, next week, I have an idea that I did not see on a video for once. Um, it was like an example in a grocery store in a flyer. Um, at Menards, so I decided I took with take that and run with it and uh, Try a new decorating idea uh, So that'll be fun anyway If you like this video <laughs> Give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe. My channel is slowly slowly growing um, recently faster than I ever expected uh, when I did the 100 sub giveaway, I didn't think I'd hit 250 for six months. Um, and I'm already uh, over 220 recording this. So I um, might have to jump on that and figure out what to give away. So uh, like I said, join me next week for another Vlogoween video. And uh, thanks for watching.